All right, got a cool aftermarket release. And this is Gun Slugs. I know this is on many things, originally made by Orange Pixel for several different platforms, but here it is. It's been ported to the Sega Genesis and offered on physical release. These are the types of things I like to cover on my channel. And here you go, here's the physical cart. And here's the manual. And it does work with a three button controller. Uh, lots about this game. If you don't know, this is an independent shooter. This game is on sale as well. Only 100 numbered copies, I do believe, are being made. So it's really awesome to see this. It's $42.99 plus tax and, and all that shipping. So that's very affordable, I think, for a complete box copy. And you can get it cart only as well if you just want to play the game. Here's the reversible cover. And that's pretty awesome. And so uh, reversible covers are pretty sweet. Nice to see that. And let's go ahead and jump into the game. All right, here we go. And Orange Pixel and Space Pants Games were involved with this. And yeah, Retro Room has other classics that are offered. They offer some pretty sweet aftermarket games. I did purchase this, by the way. And so I really wanted to support this release. And I'm glad I did. So here's a game, you get multiple different characters or secrets, and it's, you know, it's kind of fun, fun little bite-sized little metal slug style game uh, made for, you know, 16-bit uh, platform, you know, and, and more, you know, this was on Android, this was on several different platforms, uh, but just a fun little, fun little shooter, uh, you have ammo, you have health, so uh, you can take multiple hits before you perish. And you start out, I do believe this is like a one live game though. So you have to like sur surviving through levels and, you know, taking out, you know, fortresses. Really important here. I haven't played this one in a while. So <laughs> just figuring out the control scheme. There's hidden games uh, or hidden bonus rooms here. So stuff like this is in the game. I think that's awesome. So you get different weapons. And then it bounces you out of the of the bonus area, and then you continue. It's got, it's got some neat things and unlockables, things with coins and weapons, and uh, every level has its own objectives. So yeah, I want in the comments below if you played Gun Slugs, what, what platform did you play it on? It's on everything. It's on Switch, if you believe, and uh, just many different things. But uh, here it is on Sega Genesis. So it's neat. Oh, that's that's neat. Nice little homage here. <laughs> Only four colors. A little homage to the Game Boy. All right. So that's how you uh, traverse through a level and you have different objectives and uh, you have to complete them and then you move on. And so yeah, you can unlock different uh, characters and different characters have different abilities. Yeah, I do a lot of aftermarket games on my channel. And so uh, if you're intrigued by this, I do a lot of Sega Genesis stuff. I haven't done a Sega Genesis aftermarket game uh, in a while, but I do a lot of Sega stuff. I, I'm a big Sega Genesis collector. And, you know, these are the types of things that don't get a lot of advertisement. You know, this is just an independent release. You know, uh, copies, physical copies are fairly difficult to do. Uh, in a small run like this, you know, I'm, I'm very familiar with that, being a small-time publisher myself. And I uh, really want to support a release like this, because I think it's, A, uh, affordable, within the affordable range of uh, uh, people getting a physical release. I think $40 is, is a fair price, 40, 40 and some change. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet to uh, see something like this. And uh, I don't think a lot of people realize how challenging it is to do a physical release of something. You have to have access to different parts, um, you know, getting the games put directly on PCBs and then assembled, and then uh, the cosmetic, you know, getting an artist or, or, or many people involved with the uh, different parts of production and then assembling it. 
which typically you don't get paid for uh, your time and then releasing it so here's boss yeah haven't played gun slugs in a while but it looks pretty faithful from what I remember do you believe the entire game is here Orange Pixel does many other releases too. They do uh, releases on the Atari VCS even, and so um, they they they're on Steam. They have several amazing games, so it's nice to see uh, you know one of their classics here. Love to see some other ones too. So maybe this is the start of some other releases on Sega Genesis. I would absolutely love that. But yeah, um, if you don't know my story, so I've been collecting Sega Genesis for well over 30 years. And uh, I completed my U.S. collection years ago. I went for a U.S. Uh, Sega Genesis collection. And, you know, I it was at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo on public display uh, a few years back. And loves collecting aftermarket games for it too. I don't have everything. But I do cover a lot of Sega Genesis stuff on my channel and happy to do this. You know, this is a, a, a fun release and one I'm glad, uh, you know, the, all the parties involved thank you for making it because, you know what, I, I think there's fans out there that love seeing these ports. These, uh, I don't know if this is a demake. It, it, I guess it, it could, technically is because it's uh, uh, inferior hardware. Um, and so, yeah, D make or a port to a uh, classic console, however you want to classify this. I recently did a video uh, showing Super Mario Brothers on the Intellivision, believe it or not. And it's, it's a fantastic port as well. And so, yeah, I like covering stuff like this, uh, kind of the oddities. And I have many more videos planned as, you know, moving forward. I, I want to specialize in, you know, covering... Some of that aftermarket stuff for classic consoles, uh, I'm known for, uh, and being a self, uh, you know, an independent publisher myself, where I offer aftermarket games, and yeah, just thought I'd show this. Link will be below to the retro room where you can pick this up, um, and I'll show the website at the end of the video. So yeah, for sure, um, this is just kind of a cool release. And, you know, they're not going to do an unlimited amount of these. So it's really important if you're interested in picking something like up, like this up. I wouldn't wait. You know, it's always the woulda, shoulda, coulda. And, and, you know, sometimes money is an issue. But, you know, I think that, I think that price point of like a little bit over 40 bucks, not bad. Different guns, different level. I like the parallax scrolling in the background. That's cool. So glad they ported this to Genesis, though. This this feels feels like a great Genesis game. It's got all the action and the speed too. The thing about the Genesis is it had a really nice speed. The processor allowed uh, many many arcade style games to be uh, ported and made for it because it was able to handle it. Yeah, I just wanted to show you, uh, show you a little bit more. Um, just another boss fight. But yeah, what do you think of this? Have you played original Gun Slugs on anything? What do you think? Uh, and you want to check out Retro Room as they have many other products. I'm going to show you that. But here's a boss fight. I'm out of ammo. And you can still fire when you're out of ammo, but it's, it's a slower uh, gunfire rate. But yeah, so go to the Retro Room and offers Game Boy, Super Nintendo. I think there's even an N64 release, which I did. Chips Challenge is even on the Sega Genesis now, which is awesome. And you can check it out. And thank you for watching this. If you like what you see, consider hitting the like and, su and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.